What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it because at 3,800 subscribers, we're having a raffle. There's gonna be a cash raffle. So make sure you guys subscribe and are ready for that. I haven't really posted much content this month because we had a death in the family and also because it's been pretty cold. But today, today's the day that we get the Civic started. So I have pretty much everything right now to get the Civic started. Um, we got the oil, the coolant, the battery. We still gotta connect the oil feed line and we gotta bleed the clutch. And that should be it. So I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse and get started with this. I put in three quarts of the oil. Remember I got lube that I put in there, assembly lube, and that other lube that I dumped in there. So we're gonna see after we get the engine started what my oil level reads. And this is good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this guy off and I'm gonna stick him in here and fill up the radiator a little bit. So I got some coolant in here. We're gonna have to uh, definitely bleed this out later on. But for now, we do have coolant. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bleed the clutch so the pedal could uh, harden up in there and it's not all the way to the floor. I don't have anybody to help me, so I'm gonna have to do this a different way. So I got my eight millimeter right here. I'm gonna slip it right over. right here and I'm gonna go ahead put some fluid in here then I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna pump it myself and I'm gonna use a pole I'll show you guys in a minute what I mean so I just filled up this guy up and now I'm gonna go inside and pump up the pedal the pedals all the way to the floor right now I'm gonna check the level. Looks about the same. So like I said, I was gonna use a pole. Unfortunately, the pole is too long. So I'm using a baseball bat. And what I did is I pressed on the pedal and I got it wedged right here really tight against the seat. And I'm gonna go ahead and bleed the system out. Nothing came out, so I'm gonna tighten it back up and do it again, the pumping. Here goes my second attempt. All right, we got some fluid. And let's see if we got some pressure going over here. Oh yeah, we're starting to build up pressure. So I'm gonna put the bat back in there. Pedals wedge all the way to the floor and I'm gonna bleed it and I'm gonna do this maybe three more times. Oh 
Oh yeah, this pedal's getting a lot harder. So I'm gonna do this two or three more times and then we'll continue recording. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the battery on. The battery is in, let's check if we have power. All right, we got power. There's one last thing we gotta do right now. We are gonna make sure that there's oil coming to the turbo. So I got this empty bottle right here. I'm gonna slip it on the oil feed line, just like that. And we are gonna disconnect all these. And we're gonna turn the key and let the oil come up to everything and then to the actual turbo so to this line once i see that there's oil coming out of this line we'll go ahead and plug it in here and i'm doing this so we don't starve the engine also without any oil so that's why i pulled these guys off so i'm gonna go ahead and crank it over And we are not getting power to the starter for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look over here and see what's going on. All right, so I just came over here and I plugged this tester to my negative terminal. And this line comes out of my positive onto here. So you guys can see there's power. And then this one is what carries the power to the starter. So... We know that there's power heading towards the starter. We follow the wire. It goes all the way to here. And then if I check the for power right here, we do have power. We also have power over here on the other one. So I'm thinking I don't hear my fuel pump and the starter is not turning over. So I'm thinking maybe this relay, there's a relay that goes in here. Maybe this relay went bad, but maybe I should pull the starter out and test it, test it out myself out of the vehicle but i do have another one of those relays i'm just going to go ahead and quickly swap it out and see if that does anything so i went ahead and i unplugged this one that's right here and i plug this one in i turn my key looks like i have power i hold my clutch my clutch pedal down there i turn the key nothing so i'm definitely gonna pull that starter out and take it to like autozone or something and just have them test it out so i pulled the starter out i went ahead and i put it over here and let me let me show you guys this right here this looks in pretty bad shape this little connector it's all like rusted out so I'm hoping it's just that that's having the problem. Um, besides that, all I could think of is maybe a ground wire or something that's not letting the starter turn over. I did check the fuses and everything and everything looks good. So if you guys have any ideas, go down below and let me know. 
I'm gonna take this starter, take it to AutoZone, and have it tested. So I will catch you guys on my next video. Maybe my next video will be the startup video. So till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.